How to run a 4x100 relay. The 4x100 relay, also called the 400m relay, is a sprint relay with four runners. Each runner runs approximately 100 meters before handing off a baton to the next runner. Before running the 4x100 relay, make sure that you and your teammates are experienced with sprint running and have practiced the baton exchange. This will help you to decide the order of your team, and ensure that you run your best race possible. Choosing runner order. Place your best starter first. The ideal first runner has an explosive takeoff and never gets disqualified for false starts. This position also requires fast running around the bend of the oval track. Choose the second runner. The second runner should perfect their baton handling skills, as the second leg involves both receiving and passing the baton. This is a straight leg, so this is a good spot for a fast sprinter who is not really good at bends, curves, this is a great spot for your fastest runner if they are much faster than the other three, three, this is especially true if your fastest runner is also great at baton handoffs. Pick a good bend runner for the third leg. In general, shorter runners are best around curves because they can accelerate faster than taller runners. This position also benefits from good baton handoff skills, and from the ability to compete under the pressure. Although unorthodox, it could be smart to put your fastest runner here if they are also good on bends. A 200m specialist could do well on this leg. 5. End with an eager finisher. Many teams place their fastest runner last, perhaps so they can claim the glory. In fact, psychology may be more important than raw speed. This runner cannot get discouraged if they start the fourth leg behind the other teams. Choose a competitor who thrives under end of race pressure. If your two fastest runners are much faster than the other two, place them second and fourth. This allows you to maximize the distance they run. 7. At high levels of competition, choose a runner with advanced finishing techniques. 8. This includes lifting, a running form with light ground contact and rapid knee lifts, and lunging, a carefully timed forward fall so the chest crosses the finish line sooner. 9. 10. Adjust for smooth handoffs. All of your planning above will fall apart if an athlete can't perform consistent baton handoffs. Consider these problems before you finalize the positions, and don't hesitate to rearrange if issues arise during practice. Size differences. If one runner is much taller than another, they may have trouble exchanging batons smoothly. Space them out so they don't have to do a baton exchange. 11. If a pair of athletes do not practice well together for temperamental reasons, and the coach cannot solve this problem, consider rearranging so they don't have a handoff together. If one athlete is particularly poor at passing, consider placing them fourth. If an athlete is poor at receiving, consider putting them first. 